Hello everybody, welcome back to more Tulip. In the last episode, we finished up um, Belle's side quest in World of Desire Temple and continued Julie's. And in this episode, we're going to be working on that even more. <laughs> so, we're going to go ahead and get a head start by getting up early and going there right, just like, right away. I'll probably need to cut ahead, though. <laughs> because... From what, I rem from what I remember, she leaves at like 12, and we need her to leave to get Thief Tip- Thief Tiptoe. That was- I, I don't know what happened there. I stumbled over my words pretty badly. So, I will see you whenever she wakes up. <laughs> I was actually wrong. She wakes up at 7. Oops. My hat went out of the, the the realms of reality. So yeah, she heads out for a little while. She goes to World of Desire Temple, which we'll see in a little bit. And now Thief Tiptoe wakes up. I believe he does a pretty big amount of damage, so make sure you're pretty leveled up for this part. I could be wrong though, maybe I'm remembering things wrong. So you gotta wait for him to do his thing in there. Ooh, good, cheap, and more. I've never seen that. <laughs> Hour six, yeah, 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 okay. What? Oh, hi there. Whoa. Um. Okay. That was kind of weird. Oh, he only has like four hearts. Okay. I believe that he just vivas like that. Easy. It's. You have to check him while he's while his bag is stuck in the alleyway. It's a uh, it's kind of cryptic, honestly. Like I don't understand that one. I just know how to do it, and that's it. But yeah, Baba. Receive 1,000 Z. And... Spare key. This is interesting, because... If you remember correctly from the last episode, I pointed out there there is a lockbox behind where Julie stands at her counter. Open the safe? Open it. Use the safe spare key? Use it. Receive Julie's hairpin. So, uh, remember what the policeman said about not stealing? Looks like we're gonna be a bad child and not listen to that in the slightest. But, I do feel kind of bad about it, so let's go return it to him anyways. You are the kid with one crime stamps. Ooh, typo. Turn some, turn in something. What did you find? Oh. Um. What? Pick up an item. Maybe I'm supposed to show it to him? Not what I meant to do. But okay. I'm gonna... Toss that. Okay, use. This is Julie's special hairpin. Why are you carrying it around? 
we could be good. But, let's be honest. Let's be real. Stealing is a crime! I'm checking your criminal record. Your crime stamp total is now two. When you get three crime stamps, you'll be sent to the graveyard. Be careful. Mm. Okay. Well, it doesn't really put much thought into it. Now what we're gonna do is go <laughs> disobey the law for the third time and be naked. So I'm going to go get a weekly comic so I can skip ahead time. And I will see you in a moment. Weekly comic book was a pretty good comic book. Weekly comics spent three hours reading it. Even though... The time before I used it, it was a really bad one, because I took damage from it. Anyways, so the only way that you can be naked is by uh, going to Turtle Bath and undressing that way. And you s sneak out the same way you did with uh, Turtle Boy when you went to do that. So that's how you do it. Two hundred Z per person. Do you want to take a bath? Yes. Thank you. I don't actually want to take a bath. So you need to sneak out again. Easy. <laughs> don't mind me. You are naked! It's a crime to walk around naked. <laughs> that is true. I'm checking your criminal record. Your crime stamp total is now three. You have three stamps. You are under arrest. Have a nice rest beneath your tombstone. Here's a farewell kiss. Yep! How twisted is that? He's probably not going to give me a change of clothes now that I think about it. Uh-oh. How wonderful. <laughs> that face. Okay, good. It gives me... It does give me the clothes back. Because <laughs> if you don't have the clothes, you can't open your inventory. So... Yeah. Oh! Wonderful! Huh. And, of course, Mr. Suzuki breaks us out. Because he's great. So this puzzle is a little bit weird. So if you try to exit out here... Yeah, it just doesn't work. And if we head down here... The one-time vibration is used in this whole game. Ju Julie. So I'm going to go back up here really quick. So you see these patterns on the wall? So triangle, triangle, circle, circle, with a vibration mark on the second triangle. Keep this in mind. 
So triangle, vibration, triangle, circle, circle. And then, if we look at the pattern on the other side, it is square, x, vibration, square, vibration, and then x again. So it is triangle, vibration, triangle, circle, circle, and then square, vibration, x, vibration, square, and then x. So, yeah, you're going to want to remember that. So if we check this, you can see that this room is laid out like a DualShock controller. <laughs> so that means that these are assigned to the buttons. Push it. And then, whenever Goro shakes the place, if... Is he gonna do it? What? If you get these wrong, then you lose hearts, but only one at a time. It's very weird. My controller makes a loud noise whenever it vibrates. Oh, great, now I have to redo it all over again. Because he... Wow, that is loud. I think it has something to do with my sticks. Okay, I'm gonna wait for him to do it one more time. So it's triangle. And then you triangle while it shakes. And then circle, circle, and then square. And then X while it vibrates. Oh, and I was supposed to do square too. Um, and then X. <sighs> what a weird puzzle. So loud. Hmm. No thank you or anything. Thanks, Goro. So this is a place you cannot come back to ever again. Unless you do some glitch trickery. Which I will show off in a bonus episode, but for now... You can see that Julie is mourning. Um, dear, I don't care if you aren't a ghost. Or, I don't care if you are a ghost. Come home. Eek! A ghost! Running. Ju Julie. You. Is it really you? Sorry. It's all my fault. It's okay, it's okay. I don't care if you're lazy, a drunk, a loser, or you have smelly feet. As long as you're with me, I'm happy. By that description, I don't really see why. But okay. Mike! You're the one who helped my husband. I'm very impressed. This is for you. And she kisses you. Wonderful. It's not much, but take it. And she gives you a ticket back to Long Life Town. Because you get here without using an actual train. Perhaps I can trust you with my daughter. You have our kisses. Mary will surely follow for you. Now excuse us. Come to see us anytime. Now, something interesting is that 
if you have not gotten Goro's kiss already by the time that you do this, Goro will, Goro will say something along the lines of, you don't have my trust yet, or anything, or something like that. So, uh, I think it's a really neat little detail. And I'm gonna miss this train by just a little bit, and it's gonna kill me. Oh, boy. Um, I want to get back to Long Life Town before 8 p.m. so I can do, um, Pinch Poncho. But, um, I guess we're gonna have to wait a little while, so I will see you in a moment when I... <laughs> When I get there. Okay. I got back safely. We're all good. And, um... Let's head over to where Pinch Poncho is. Because I actually never got him, despite him being, like, one of the earliest ones you can get. So, yeah, let's head over there. He comes out at uh, around 8, I'm pretty sure. And he stands at this little light over here. This hole is right there. No. Um... Maybe like 8.30? Huh. I could have sworn he comes out at like 8. Really? Huh. Um... That's kind of weird. Okay. Well then, I will... I will cut ahead to when he actually comes out in that case. Okay, there we go. I was off by a good, like, almost, yeah, that was like 12 hours, or no. No, that was like 6 hours. So he's gonna stand the light up there, and when he claps, you stop. And you can only move when he's hopping around like that. He'll, ov he'll always viva, though. And you can just kiss him. You can't just run up to him, though, because I'm pretty sure he'll hurt you or whatever. Anyways, yeah. <laughs> He's a pretty easy one. He looks like a Muppet. <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. Just hops into the floor. So, I'm pretty sure the only underground resident we have left is Dr. Phil? Maybe someone else? I'm not sure. Um, but for the time being, I'm going to head back home. I'm trying to remember who I have left. I think I can do Mr. Apollo. I'm pretty sure. Um, yeah, I can. But he's like super luck based. I remember him not being very fun at all. So I'm gonna go back home, sleep, um, and just keep retrying until I get Apollo. That's my goal for today. So set it for 12 p.m. Or actually, no, I want to set it for like 12.30. Because I'm pretty sure he comes out at like 1. What? Are you going to bed? Good night. Yes, good night, Mike. That was a weird noise. Everyone is talking about Mike. I'm so worried about my son's reputation that I can't sleep. Let's see. Today Mike kissed. Thief tiptoe the fourth. Fourth. Fourth? Fourth? Yes. Pinch poncho. Policeman. Julie. Diddy. Lover's tree, lover's tree. My son has successfully kissed for the first time. That means Mike has kissed 44 times in his whole life. He could do better. Keep trying to become a man with a strong heart. The next goal is six kisses. Lover's tree, thank you. 
I see. All right. Okay. Good night, Mike. Great. Okay. Good morning. Wake up. Have a good day, Mike. Okay, yes. Now I will head out. And hope that Mr. Apollo works in my favor. He's like one of the most luck-based ones in the whole game. And I really don't like him. Whoa. There's like major slowdown whenever he comes up. That's kind of weird. Like, you seeing this? No. Okay. Well, that means I get to cut ahead. Oh boy. I got it. I got it. I got it. Yay! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yay! Only second try, actually. Not too bad. Uh, sorry if I seem kind of caught off guard. I paused the recording instead of opting to edit out stuff to save, like, hard drive space. So, yeah. Um, yeah, sorry if that was kind of sudden. Uh, but, yeah, there we go. I think now Dr. Phil is, like, the last... The last underground resident. Okay. Hi, everybody. Um, sorry about that cut. I had to... I, I, like, started rambling about stuff, and, like, I don't know, I just didn't really want to keep it in. Um, let's go talk to Mr. Policeman. Hello! You were sent to the graveyard. Now you are here. That must, that means you have been revived. Congratulations! What do you want? <laughs> Hello. Oh, oops. Okay. So, we have... Mrs. Plum left, uh, Dr. Phil, Dr. Dandy, the alien, and Zombie Mika. That's all we have left. Only five more. So, I hope to get all those done within the next few episodes. Thank you everybody so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, um, and I will see you in the next episode. Bye!